What's up guys, welcome back to the channel Easy HVAC. I hope you're all having a good day. Today's video, I wanted to show you guys real quick how to check liquid line uh, filter dryers. Liquid line filter dryers are very important for an HVAC system. They keep the system clean. They protect the system from, more so the refrigerant, from contaminants and moisture. Uh, moisture meaning water. Uh, obviously there's, there's moisture in the air that we breathe, there's water in the air. And uh, water in an HVAC system uh, is, is very bad. You do not want water in an HVAC system. The only thing you want in an air conditioning system is refrigerant. That is the only thing that should be in the system. No water, no air. What happens is if you do have water in your system, the water can mix with the oil that runs with your refrigerant and it can create acids. And those acids can, they can damage the compressor. They can lead to uh, compressor burnouts, which can be a very costly repair. Uh, and ultimately, you know, that shortens the life of your system. So it's very important that uh, we keep moisture out of the system. And that is what filter dryers do. They protect uh, the refrigerant from contamination and from moisture. Uh, but over time, these filter dryers can, they can get clogged and they can get restricted. They can become restricted uh, from excess moisture and contaminants. And that can start to affect the performance of your system and what that may look like is if you you know you, you come up to a system and you put your gauges on the system and you notice that uh, you know on the low side of your system your super heat is really high uh, your, your suction pressure is low your saturation temperature is low uh, you know those now normally you would think that this system might be low on refrigerant. Let me go ahead and, and uh, let me go ahead and charge up the system, uh, add a couple pounds. But before you do that, it's very important to check other things. Uh, that's why we look at uh, the entirety of the system and not just the suction pressure. We look at things like uh, subcooling uh, on the on the high side. You have to get your high side pressure, your, uh, your condensing temperature, uh, because those things will. will tell you uh, potentially that your system is not necessarily low on refrigerant but restricted and filter dryers can definitely be the cause of that so I'm going to show you guys how to easily check uh, a filter dryer for a restriction and we're going to do that by using our probes so I've got the fill piece the fill piece temperature probes which are uh, really awesome. I highly recommend these if you guys uh, are, are in the market for uh, digital probes, uh, fill pieces. Uh, these, these guys are, are really good. I've got my iPad here. I've got the uh, fill piece ah, open. And right, right now it's reading the temperature, uh, the ambient temperature. It's about 72, 73 degrees right now. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to place your two probes on each side of the filter dryer. And what we're looking for is a, uh, a differential in temperature, which we should not have, okay? So we should have the same temperature on this side and on this side. And if we have a difference, typically we have more, you know, a three degree difference or more, um, I'm making a recommendation Customer. Hey, uh, your filter dryer is looking, you know, it's, it's getting restricted. You want to consider replacing that or make a recommendation to your supervisor or whoever. But that's that's what you're looking for is that temperature, that temperature differential. Now, in some systems, you will have pressure taps on each side, on this side and on this side. And in that case, you can actually put your gauges, right? each side and you can check the filter dryer by means of, of pressure. It's the same thing, you should have the same pressure you know, on each 
side. And if you don't, if you have that that uh, pressure different that pressure differential, typically you know three degrees or more, that filter dryer is becoming restricted. And the reason why we have that that why you have a drop of pressure, basically when this filter dryer becomes restricted, it kind of works like the metering device for the evaporator. When liquid refrigerant passes through the metering device, it experiences a pressure drop and a temperature drop. That's what can happen here if this liquid line filter dryer is restricted. All right? So, we're gonna, we're gonna take our probes, okay? Take our probes, place it on this side. Make sure it's making a good contact with the pipe. That's actually the wrong system. I only have one stage running right now, so I'm trying to find uh, which system is running. All right, guys. We're gonna take our other probe. And we're gonna put it on the other side. All right, so that's what that that's what that looks like. Okay, we have one probe here and one probe here. And again, you're just checking for that pressure differential. I'm sorry, temper temperature differential, not pressure. So we'll go over here to our tablet. And as you can see, we're the same, you know, same temperature, right? 72 degrees. So that tells us that that, that, uh, that filter dryer is not restricted, right? So if you were, if you had on one side, 73 or 74 and then on the other side you had 77 78 now that tells you that that filter dryer is restricted and actually in some cases when the filter dryer is is uh, really restricted you can actually feel and so you can take your hand and you can feel the difference so it's like you, you feel you take your hand and feel on one side you can feel that this side is warm, all right? And then you check this side and it's cold. So it's warm on this side and then it's cold on this side. Uh, that too will tell you, that also tells you that the filter dryer is restricted. So, you know, you can also do this by feel. Uh, but this is you know, just uh, another accurate way of being able to tell. So we'll just do that for we do that for, for each filter dryer. that you're 
your, your, your pressures seem off. Um, you don't always want to just jump to the system needs more refrigerants. See, there are other things that you can check. And then of course, you know, we always don't, we don't want to always condemn the TXV as well. So what I like to do is if I notice that my, uh, my suction pressure is low, my super heat is high, my saturation temperature is low, I start with my start, and if I suspect that the system is, is experiencing restriction, I'll start with the filter dryers, check those, and then uh, we'll make then we'll move to the TXV. And, uh, you'll check the, the placement of the bowl, uh, make sure that it's properly secured to the suction line, and make sure that it's insulated, uh, things like that. And then of course you know you look at your filters, are your filters dirty? You look at the condition of your evaporator foil, is your evaporator foil dirty? Uh, because low airflow can also give you, uh, you know, low airflow can give you a low suction pressure, low saturation temperature. It can make you think that the system needs refrigerant. So, you know, look, look at the whole system, guys. Uh, it'll save you, it'll save you a lot of trouble in the long run. Obviously, that's what makes a good technician. When you look at the whole thing, you're able to, to diagnose uh, problems correctly and ultimately that you know like i said that makes you a better technician and it makes you more money so yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, if you like the content please like subscribe uh, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future videos enjoy the rest of your day guys we'll catch you on the next one